It looks like a cartoon bomb blew up in her face. <laughs> going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to mk my name is robin and today i figured i would take a stroll on through made me smile because on occasion i do like to smile so let's jump right in there's no way this thing is real but i don't care it's still adorable now that's quite the collection of socks i really enjoy the pac-man ones near the bottom <laughs> you enjoying the sun my apologies i tried to fling a bag of poop up to our balcony i missed and it landed on yours it was not not intentional. Why were you doing that in the first place? Okay, I don't care how old you are, you are never, ever too old to build a killer fort. Look at that guy's nose! He's got such a honking snout! That art perfectly captures this cat's thousand yard stare. I built my dog a doggy bed. What do you guys think? I think that's amazing. <laughs> Holy crap. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Anybody that dislikes how cute mice are, are wrong. Woman adopts an elderly dog, realizes it's the best friend she lost as a child. Everyone who sees this image, look Squidward, I made a sweater with my tears. There were a group of characters dressed as superheroes at a local costume shop. This young boy who uses a walker did his best to walk and approach Superman and simply just said, thank you. Even Superman started to cry. I'm okay. <laughs> Look at his little sweater! What you're looking at? What's out there? Come on, show me! They were making fun of me! Aw, how sweet. I know things are dark, but I just watched the FedEx guy pluck a snail from the sidewalk, cradle it in his gloves, and find just the right size tulip on our front yard to set it inside. So your FedEx guy must moonlight as a Disney princess. One time I saw Samuel L. Jackson at an airport, and he saw me and my cousin hovering around trying to gain the courage to ask him for a photo. And then he came over to us and said, Y'all mother want a photo? And it was everything. Dalmatians are cute, I will admit, but I took care of one for about a week, and I'll never do it again. Can you point to where he touched you? For the court? He touched me right here. Full custody. Oh god, it's so beautiful. Hey, zoom in, I gotta say something. Have a good day, friend. Do a smile. Be as happy as me. Well, I'm sure gonna try, fence dog. Both of these animals are significantly smarter than I am, and probably smarter than you too. How does that make you feel? Ah, our baby is saying his first word. Woof, 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 woof. He knows all the words. Wow, so he's a genius ahead of his time, huh? Are you playing rugby with a sheep? Where was this taken? <gasps> he found a new friend. Aw, penguin, also known as business goose. Yo, why you need to give your dog thigh highs though? I'm confused. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Looks like he certainly did. I'm kind of jealous. I went to lunch with friends and saw my husband at the restaurant. I was gonna say his name, but he was staring at his phone, so I watched him. He was smiling, he typed, and then my phone dinged, and it was a video he forwarded of a dog wrestling a water hose. This is love. <laughs> when dad gives you a piggyback ride, I get off the plane and this is the first thing I see. Well, that's one warm welcome wherever you are. My neighbor's seven-year-old son told me he wants to walk on the moon one day. I told him that it's totally possible and showed him videos of Apollo missions. I couldn't be any happier. He just made my day. Our new adopted baby on the way home. Couldn't stop staring at me. Aw, he loves you. Gave my dog a hat. Now he thinks he's the Well, he is. I made this tie for my dad when I was in first grade. 11 years later, he wears it to my graduation. Oh, that's a sick tie though. When relatives visit your home and your mom offers them cookies that you've never seen before. <gasps> Betrayal. He doing a sniff. Congratulations on submitting your thesis. Oh, that's gotta be the largest weight ever lifted off your shoulders. Either you're an incredibly small person, or that dog is the size of a bear. Hey, I did it. Did what? Yesterday, you told me to have a nice day, and so I went on a walk in the park and watched the ducks. It was nice. Oh, good. Thanks again. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, that's a wholesome one. No fence can stop true love. Or bromance. Either or. Feeling cute. Might eat a poacher later. I don't know. Well, you should definitely eat a poacher. Eat as many as you want. When you have a nice hat and you feel nice. <laughs> This is, without a doubt, one of the single greatest photographs I've ever seen. Fills me with an indescribable joy. If you ever find yourself cringing at something you did in the past, it means you've grown as a person. Aw, thanks, Professor Dog. I needed to hear that. I love when you're here, and whenever you're here, your parents come in and sit in the audience. 
They literally drove me here today. <laughs> Good God, he really is the child of those two, isn't he? Day 13. They still have no idea. I'm blending in flawlessly. What's a good song for a 60-year-old father with no rhythm and two left feet to dance with his 24-year-old daughter at her wedding? Any song you both like. It's not about performance. It's about sharing a dance with someone you love. That is very, very true, Magenta. More people need to realize that. Trying to teach my dog, Herbie, that passers-by are not a threat. If you see him outside, please give him a treat. Thanks. Oh, don't mind if I do. He is the happiest looking little thing I ever did see. I had to think on my feet today and keep my four-year-old son away from a video meeting the only way I know how. I drew a worm, then asked him again and again, what else? Bit by bit, we came up with a masterpiece. I feel like an entire show or comic could stem from this one image. This is the happiest photo I've ever seen. Wow, that guy looks thrilled to be sitting up there. Remembering how much Robert loved being with Steve, parked at home pretending to drive, I know Steve would be incredibly proud. Now that Robert has his license plates and is driving Steve's old truck. Oh my god, what do we do to deserve their family? Maybe not mind-blowing, but sometimes dogs in movies need CGI tails if they're supposed to be acting mean, because they're so excited to be doing a good job acting that their tails can't stop wagging. Excuse me, kind sir. What is it that I could help you with? The perfect tattoo doesn't exist. Oh, it does. It certainly does exist. March of 15, we started dating, and March of 20, our daughter will be here. Aw. You know who I don't see enough appreciation for? Nani. My girl was only 19 and working hard left and right to raise and support Lilo on her own after their parents died. She's every bit the hero all the other Disney princesses are, and we need to treat her as such. She's my favorite Disney princess. I'm watching The Office for the first time, and I'm very saddened to hear that you two aren't together in real life. If it makes you feel better, I found my Jim, and he found his Pam. They just happen to be named Lee and Emily. Seriously, the amount of people that are angry that these two actors aren't actually married is mind-blowing and kinda sad. Woke up to Leonard freaking out, jumping on me, trying to lick my face at 5 a.m., which he never does. Before I realized the fire alarm was going off, and there was smoke in the hallway of my apartment complex. We evacuated, and everyone's safe. 13 out of 10? Very good boy. I'd say best boy. He saved your life. She's in someone's locket. Oh no, her soul's been trapped in a locket. She'll be there forevermore. I appreciate this level of detail. Crust a little crispier than normal, but not too crispy. If that's not vague enough, make it like you're taking revenge on a cheating boyfriend. But you still want to reconcile in the not-so-distant future. Customer request. The gate is tricky. Please don't break it. And the spider on the porch is called Frank. Be nice to Frank. He guards the tomatoes. <laughs> Happy 100th birthday, Mom. God, the big 100. Always an impressive feet for anybody. Well, it is Pride Month after all. Our funny farm has expanded. Now we've added a camel and a dinosaur. <laughs> Women are so adorable when you compliment their dress and the dress has pockets. Hey, that's a really nice dress. Woman, thanks. It has pockets. And then she puts her hands in them to show you. <laughs> My neighbor has a boy German shepherd and him and Annie always play and kiss through the fence. And today they met for the first time. Oh, you the cuties. That is the tiniest little thing. Oh my God, my heart's melting. My son was playing basketball at home earlier today, and while playing, his ball went right into the road as a car was coming. The car hit the ball, and it was toast. But the person who ran over the ball came back and left this. Thank you. My son was so excited. Not sure if it was you or someone else, but I ran over someone's basketball on the street. Sorry if it was yours. My friend's cat loves attacking Christmas trees, but hates plastic bags. <laughs> The narrative tension in this picture is outrageous. He's just thinking, would this be worth it? One should never be forced to grow up, ever. This teacher from a remote village in Kenya has been crowned the best educator in the world. Peter Tabichi gives away 80% of his monthly income to help his poorest students. Now, he's been awarded a $1 million global prize, beating 10,000 nominations from 179 countries. Bottom-ranked sumo wrestler burst into tears after winning first championship. Oh, I bet that feels amazing. Hey Matt, do you know how to bolt a bookshelf to a wall? I mean, sure. I have no idea how to find a stud. LOL. Look in the mirror. <gasps> 
Hey Sarah, I may not know you, but I know that your dad will always be by your side. Keep making him proud. Five years ago today, some stranger caught the garter and I caught the bouquet. Now he's my husband. How often does that ever work out? That's a crazy story. My then wife was having an affair and left me and our girls when they were age seven and four. I was a single dad overnight and brought them up on my own and held down a full-time job. This picture is my favorite of my girls and says a lot about them. They're now 25 and 22, and they're my world. This is Riley. Every morning he hangs over the wall and drops his toy so the nearest passerby is forced to play with him. It works 100% of the time. He's a smart boy. Officer, this is an emergency. My bike needs a tune-up. After arriving late to class, George Danzig copied from the blackboard two problems thinking they were homework and then solved them. Turns out, they were actually two previously unsolved statistic problems, which earned him his PhD. Jeez, can you imagine being that casually good at anything, let alone math? Holy crap, that is insanely terrifying, yet so cool! I've been fishing many, many times, and I've never caught a single thing. I hope to be half as happy as her when I catch my first fish one day. A deer eating an apple. Well, he bit off a little bit more than he could chew, huh? Congrats, grad. Always love to see someone finish up high school. Or hell, just finish school in general. Look at this fluffy old boy. I want to bury my face right into him, even if it means he claws my scalp off. Nine-year-old boy who kept getting in trouble for doodling in class gets a job decorating a restaurant with his drawings. Those are really cool. So my mom is shopping in a supermarket wearing a full hijab and jibab, commonly misnamed as a burqa. And the whole time she's there, this kid's staring at her. Won't stop staring. Just looking with wide-eyed shock. The little feller ain't any older than four. She doesn't think much of it. She's used to far worse than just a few stares. Until the very end, when the kid and his mom are behind her in the checkout, and he leans up and whispers loudly, I love you, Batman! <laughs> Two very bored farmers in the lockdown decided to paint one of their cows and pose as Tiger Kings. Dang, they went all out on painting that cow. That looks legit. Toddler dressed up as her grandmother on Halloween. <laughs> okay, that's great. Another painting done. Looking great. Hi. Hmm. Still love it. As you should. Art is subjective. Kentucky school surprises a student by including a photo of her service dog in the yearbook. A Kentucky elementary school saved a special spot in its yearbook for one very good girl. Ariel, a service dog. Wait! Stop scrolling! I think you're beautiful. <laughs> no, shut up! Mom was pregnant with me, so she missed her senior prom. 18 years later, I took her to mine. Holy God, Mom! You know what? After seeing how much fun this kid's having, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna buy a Crazy Daisy sprinkler, and then Zach and I are gonna play all day in the cool water. Homeboy did not have to flex that hard in that third picture. Oh man, look at that shoot. He is fabulous. I recently got a plushie of a bird shaped like a kiwi, so I got a real kiwi and made it look like the plushie. <laughs> Oh, that dog is gorgeous! Holy cow! My sister takes Halloween very seriously. Even the dog has to get involved. <laughs> he looks terrified! What exactly is that a bag of? You know what? I don't want to know. At least you're treating it like a caring father should. Ooh, that picture on the left is fierce. The one on the right is far fiercer. He told his dad he wanted to learn how to train his new dog. And his dad said there were lots of dog training videos on YouTube. So, here he is, showing them to the puppy. <laughs> Finally, some revenge. You fall asleep on me so I can't go anywhere for a few hours? I'm gonna put a bunch of birds on you so you can't go anywhere forever. My dad once wrote a note to us and put it in a drawer. The note said, if you're scared to tell me something, just bring me this note as a reminder that I'm here to support you and I won't get mad. I'll work with you on a solution. Best way to keep your kids talking to you. If you're jumping on the Avatar The Last Airbender Wagon just because it's on Netflix and never even watched it as a kid, let me just be straightforward. Welcome aboard! I hope you enjoy it as much as I did and still do. When you're watching your dogs nap and you realize how much you love them and how lucky you are to have them, that is a look that just screams, I love you. This isn't a baby announcement. I just wanted to show off my wife. Lady, you should wife this guy again. Apparently, a Tetris Battle Royale came out, and in addition to that just being funny on its own, we've also got Twitch streamers getting pwned by, like, retirees who have been playing Tetris for the last three and a half days 
decades. They're getting blown up live by people with handles like Eileen and Love My Kids 72. That is so incredible. Thank you for this news. Exhausted hummingbird found on South Carolina firehouse floor might be their tiniest rescue ever. Oh my god, he's so small! Okay, that cat's got a pretty sick bed. He can just close the flap and disappear from the world? I'm kind of envious. Okay, this is just good, clean fun, and that's actually fantastic art. 20 years ago, I was eight, and my grandma bought me a yellow Game Boy Color. The box said it was supposed to be teal or blue. I was a little disappointed, but still loved it. Today, my new Switch came in the mail. Yellow on purpose, because it made me think of Grandma. When you're mad about something and you tell your mom and she gets mad too. <laughs> Penguins attend classes on the first day of school at the University of Antarctica in 2007. I know this is fake history, but I hope it's real future. Please tell me that that kitten is fake, because it looks like a toy. It's actually kind of freaking me out. I asked this man if he needed help. He replied that he was waiting for his wife so he could scare her. <laughs> What's your dirty little secret? I secretly watch my friend's streams and support him without him knowing by using a different account. He gets very few viewers, so I talk to him throughout the stream to keep his spirits up. You are an incredible person. Will you pick me up, pretty please? Whoa, pretty please. You don't don't have to ask me. You had me at hello, cat. He saw us feeding the ducks and pretended to be one. Ah, oh, come on, give him some bread. Or maybe not bread, give him something else. Holy crap, now that is a flower bush, dude. I love when professors try to use modern slang to relate to students. My professor referred to the theater of Pompeii as the place where Caesar got vibe checked by a bunch of senators, and I lost it. <laughs> Holy dang, guys! Jimmy has separation anxiety, so he holds on to you when you walk in the door. Don't worry, buddy, I'm not going anywhere. I really hope these two are about to become good friends and not what usually ends up happening in this situation. Happy 70th, Mom. Dang, that's impressive, dude! That cat looks so done with your crap, man. <laughs> Ooh, that looks amazing. Good on you. This makes me so happy. There's a very good, clear message here that's surprisingly hard to articulate. You go, dragon. You go. I swear to God, I would give anything for an awesome neighbor that just gave me baked goods all the time. Extra cookies? Sure, why not? And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all we've got for you today. Always remember, if you enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like down below. And hey, if you really enjoyed the video, why not subscribe and click the bell icon. And until next time, I'll be seeing ya.